Welcome to the chaotic mess, you guys. Just a quick overview of what we're working with. Give you all a quick pan. Y'all, this has gotten so out of control, but we are gonna get it together. So welcome to week two of my cleaning challenge. Week two, we are gonna be cleaning out the garage. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for week two of my spring cleaning challenge. If you guys are not aware, I am running a nine week spring cleaning challenge where you basically spend just an hour a day in one room of your house each week. And by the end of May, your entire house, both inside and outside, will be completely clean, deep cleaned, ready to go for summer heading into June. So if you guys are interested, head over to my Instagram. I will have all the information on the challenge there. This week, I am going to be tackling my garage. So today is Sunday, and I probably will just tackle one area of my garage, you guys. Again, it's just an hour a day. So it's a mess in here. This is probably a good, I'd say probably a good like three years accumulation of just junk that I haven't even attempted to organize at all. So yeah, enough rambling. Let me go ahead, show you what it looks like and we'll get to work. So here is what my garage is looking like, you guys. It is total chaos over here on the left side. Basically, I park my car here on the right side. So just the sides need some attention. But yeah, there's just stuff thrown everywhere. It's so hard for me to find anything that I'm looking for in here. Like, look at this, y'all. This is just a bunch of just junk. Thrown. I look like a hoarder and I'm really not, you guys. I promise you, I'm a very neat person, but this is just gotten out of hand. Literally, last year I just threw stuff in here from gardening and it's just accumulated and I can't take it anymore. So we are going to tackle the mess this week. Um, today, I probably am just going to tackle maybe half of this section over here. We'll see how far I can get with the rain coming. We are expecting rain in about three hours. Um, so I don't want to move too much stuff out onto my driveway and then have to move it back in here because it's raining. So I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. I'm going to stop rambling and get to work. Look, you guys, the ice cream truck is here. Oh, y'all, that just brings back childhood memories. And all the kids across the street are getting ice cream. So cute. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you. you guys so I actually got this side all cleaned out and you guys it feels so much better it actually feels like when I first moved in of course the floors were all just one color there's a lot of spray paint on these floors there's white spray paint on this side some black spray paint over here my neighbor is getting ready to pressure wash so I'm gonna wrap up for tonight and I'll catch you guys tomorrow so y'all I'm actually gonna attempt to make my own bench so I think I can use these two by four by twos for the legs yeah, I think I'll need like six of these and five come in a pack. 
so I'm trying to decide if I want to go with melamine or just regular wood. The regular wood is twenty dollars. The melamine is only sixteen. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. Happy Tuesday, everybody. So today's project is I'm going to be attempting to build a DIY storage bench to go underneath my pegboard. So wish me luck. Let's set the tone, a bottle of red wine and pheromones. The conversation flows, a couple of hours, see how it goes. Trust my senses, catch me if I fall So done with second guessing, you seem to have it all And loving before anything, emotional too soon You got my invitation, now the rest is up to you Kick it rendezvous, make some time for me and you Get you over, treat you right We vibing like a uh -huh. Kick it rendezvous, make some time for me and you So the bench is finally done. This is what it looks like. Y'all, I am so impressed with myself. This is exactly what I was going for. Just something really cheap and simple, nothing too sturdy. I'm not storing anything super heavy on here. I still might go back and kind of like find a way to reinforce this to the wall, but y'all, it's really <laughs> not really going anywhere. So I think I'm good. I'm so impressed with how this turned out, you guys. I'm loving it. I'm so excited to store my stuff over here and make it look nice and neat. Welcome back, you guys. So I think today is going to be my last day of cleaning. I finally got my hooks in. I ordered a whole bunch of hooks from Amazon to put on my pegboard. So I'm pretty much going to arrange these, and then I'll just show you guys the after because I don't really know what I'm doing, and I know you guys don't want to watch me fiddling with stuff, so I'll just show you the after. side all cleared out only thing I have left to do is this little corner over here I've moved everything out hosed everything down it's drying so yeah last little section got this side cleared out 
And here's what this is looking like so far. Hosed everything down, reorganized it, and it's looking so much better. <sighs> Y'all, I know I look crazy, but I finally got the garage all clean, you guys. It feels so good to have this project done. This is probably the project that was stressing me out the most for this whole cleaning challenge. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you guys the before, just to remind you what it looked like before, and then I'll show you the after. So here is the after, you guys. So, so much better than what I had before. And y'all, I can finally use my two car garage the way that it's supposed to be used. I don't have to squeeze by and be scared to open my doors. I've got plenty of space to park my car in here. So I'm so, so excited to finally have this somewhat organized. Let me kind of walk you through what I did. So first of all, I have all of my yard equipment over here. These are the things that I use most often, almost on a daily basis. I mow weekly, so of course I've got my lawnmower easily accessible right here in the front. My spreader, my tiller, my wagon that I use on every project, as well as my blower and the extension cord. Um, ignore that bag of concrete in there. I'm working on a project that you guys will see very soon. Um, and then back here in this tub, I have some open bags of grass seed, fertilizer, soil, any bag that I've opened and didn't use the entire thing. It's nicely sealed up in there. And then just a random fresh bag of soil on top. Um, and then over here is really like my pride and joy space over here, y'all. This is really what I envisioned. It's not organized the way that I completely wanted. I'll probably still tweak some things. But it works for now. I got stuff up off the floor and onto the wall. That was the goal. So I really wanted to build a storage bench so that I could have a place to store all of my stockpile. So I have plenty of garden soil over here. These bags were buy three, get three free at Lowe's. So if y'all missed that sale, I'm so sorry. They only do it once a year and it's the best sale that they have all year long. Each bag was only $1.98. So I paid like three or four bucks for six bags of soil. It's crazy. So yeah. Anywho, stockpile of soil there. I've got my extra concrete here, which will be gone, so I'll have room to put more mulch. I'll probably just rotate the bags because the mulch shale is running five for 10 right now. Um, I also have a place to store all of my paint cans up on top here. And then on my pegboard, you guys, I have all of my kind of like yard garden equipment here on the left side. I have my landscape fabric across the top, all of my drip irrigation tubing here on the right side and then a place to hang all of my little hand tools, my scissors, my pruners, my hammers and shovels. I've got my drill down here, which I use very often, my nail gun, um, jigsaw, just, you know, random tools. And this section here, you guys, I just love how organized it is. I still need to go get one more. They were out of stock, so I'll get one more to finish off my row, because y'all know. I need my symmetry. But anywho, up here I just have a bunch of my little items stored. I have my drip emitters, some washers for the hose, some barb couplers for drip irrigation, um, more barbed emitters here. These are extra hooks for the pegboard. So again, I can still play around with the arrangement of things. Um, in this basket here, I have extra landscape staples, my tape measure. I have a basket here that holds all of my gardening gloves extra extension cord here. These are actually um, pot feet or pot stands, I guess you can see, to raise the pots up off the ground so they don't stain my concrete. I've got all of my garden twines stored up here. And then down here in this one, I have just some random um, extra barb couplers here that I haven't opened yet, some zip ties, and then some landscape fabric staple pegs in there. So that is the peg wall. Again, y'all, still a work in progress, but I just feel so good to have stuff on the wall. Um, over here, I just decided to store away my table saw. I only pull it out every blue moon when I need it. It's portable, so it's easy to just pull out the box, use it, and then put it back. So that's where that will live. And then over here, I've got my grill that will move once it warms up to the backyard. I did store all of my extra cardboard back here in the corner. Y'all know I do use cardboard in my garden, so that is what that stockpile is for. My dolly, my ladder, and then this area here, um, all of these like large pieces of furniture that are like 
spray painted white. Um, I actually got these from Goodwill about, I want to say three years ago now. Um, the Goodwill in our area has a dollar sale on the first weekend of every month, all summer long, every year. So all three of these I got for a dollar piece and the plan was to make them over. I was gonna flip some furniture and sell them, but I think I'm just going to flip these two pieces, move them into the house, and then this will be kind of like my work bench. So got that cleaned off. I do have my charger for my batteries for all of my Ryobi stuff charging back there. Just a little table here. I store my little gardening shoes and boots on each side of the mat. Um, and then over here, I did reorganize this entire um, kind of like stand section. I pulled everything off, took the stands out into the driveway, hosed them down, dusted them off, and then reorganized everything. So across the top, I have just a bunch of random stuff. This I actually need to take back into the house, so ignore that. Um, but on the middle row here, I have all of my like fertilizers. Um, down below is all of my weed and grass yard type of stuff, some extra pots here, more fertilizer down here in this container, my gas for my mower, and then more extra spare pots. These are two um, kind of garden orbs, I guess you can call them, that I need to repaint because I accidentally oversprayed when I was making over my bookcases. I was painting them white and they got sprayed. So I'll have to spray paint these and put them back out into the garden. I've got my pressure washer here, string trimmer here, and then all of these tools. I have already purchased some hooks. I just need to put them into the wall so I can get these off of the floor and onto the wall. So this will be all cleaned up. Um, some extra paint in both of these buckets, extra pots that will all be moving to the backyard. So this whole entire side over here will just be completely bare and empty. So that is the gist of my garage you guys it, again it feels so good to have this done it was a huge project for me at least to tackle by myself it was overwhelming but just breaking it up just that hour a day y'all literally just break it up do a small task a small corner each day and you can knock it out so thank you guys so much for joining me and watching this garage cleanup makeover i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you're finding some inspiration in this cleaning challenge if you're participating keep going share your before and afters on instagram using my hashtag kg spring clean challenge thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more and as always thank you so much i will catch you in the next video peace